Welcome back Sabre fans. This is Obi-Wan Sabres. I am Kevin. Today we're going to do another Sabre breakdown for you and uh, I kind of like this one. This is the Spire LGT Z017. Uh, this one has the Xeno Pixel Core in it and uh, yeah, we're going to do a quick, uh, quick breakdown on how this thing works. This one does have its own crystal chamber in it just like the Starkiller one. Uh, very nice design on this one. I actually like it. It's, it's quite intricate detail in here. I kind of like that one. Uh, very nice feel to this one. This one's actually a little bit longer than uh, than a lot of the Sabres. Like if you compare it with the Obi Wan or the, the um, Skywalker one, Skywalker comes to about here from from pommel till uh, end of the emitter. So this one does have a little bit extra length in it, which is really nice. It has a really good feel for it. It allows you to do a, a double grip when you're swinging this thing around. You can still see the the uh, crystal lighting up on this, uh, which it does. It is lit up. So let's get into some details on this one and see how it comes apart. Okay, ladies and gentle Jedi, let's uh, let's get into this little beast. Uh, turn it on. This guy is actually quite simple. And we get our emitter off. We can take our crystal chamber out and our PCB board for the uh, saber connect for the uh, blade connect. Um, simple uh, J2. I think that's a J2 connector from there. Uh, now there are screws in here on either side uh, of the crystal chamber. Uh, you can uh, you can remove those and actually remove all the components in there. But uh, I noticed this one is actually glued in there. So if you want to take that apart uh, to get that out, you could probably change the crystal in there if you're delicate enough. I'm sure that is just a, a nice piece of plastic for that uh, for that crystal in there. Uh, but if you wanted to switch that out, you had something else in mind you could do, you could definitely do that. Just have to remember that you have to glue that piece back in to uh, reassemble. Good to know. The, uh, I know I've had inquiries about the Starkiller crystal being changed out, which I do believe you can. It's the same, same principle, but uh, I find this crystal, actually, it's it's much larger than the Star Starkiller. And uh, it's really good quality, actually, if you get... I don't know like how good you can see that, but that is a pretty good quality little piece of plastic in there. So kudos to LGT for coming out with that one. That's a really nice, really nice design. So okay, moving forward, we have a pommel, simple one screw, standard design for LGT. It's looking really good, and that's pretty much the whole thing in a hand basket right there. Uh, the two screws, two screws on the back, which hold the uh, electronic core in there got the flat style USB port in there which is kind of nice more of a more of a new uh, new style thing uh, I'm not going to pull the core out of this I mean it's very 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 standard at this point you pull the screw pull the screw and then slide your uh, slide your core right out of there and away you go uh, this one is a slightly different design just because of the connection to the PCB board but other than that, that's uh, it's a really nice design on there. So let's uh, get her back together, throw a blade in here, and see how well she lights up and sounds. I apologize for saying oh, a lot. I'm starting to sound like a certain uh, political leader, but I don't really script all this stuff. I just kind of wing it. So that's kind of why I... Uh, I say uh, uh, I, I like uh, 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 I say lots of uh. uh. Uh, this part is a little bit delicate putting that back together. They do leave some room in here for that, for that wiring. So you just got to kind of slip it in there and make sure it's not going to tangle up or get caught up in your threads because that, uh, that's going to cause a bit of issues if you do that. Back together. Back together, look at that. I got a nice feeling saber, so let's get a let's get a blade in here. All the pins in the PCB boards are a little spring loaded, so it's kind of nice to make sure that blade is set in there. I'm pretty sure I brought this up in other teardown videos, but it's always good to mention. It's not one of the things you want to forget because you don't get that solid connection. You're not going to get a, a good ignition like your uh, LEDs and your blade are not going to ignite all that great. You won't get the same 
function that you're looking for. So it's always a good troubleshooting tip. You fire up your saber and your lights are kind of funky. Well, check the seating on your blade. Okay, let's get this thing. Power on. Oh, we know that works. Very loud. I like the, uh, the sound chamber in the end of this thing. Very nice. That works. You see that crystal lighting up? That was a cool effect. Dark ages. See what we get. Ooh, interesting. Nice blue. That's very cool. Very cool effects. These Xeno corals are just amazing. Very nice quality piece of electronics in these sabers these days. That is very cool. There it is. Uh, so welcome. This is this is my garage. Uh, you can kind of see some stuff in the background there. I apologize for that. I'm gonna get myself a studio set up here at some point. But uh, anyhow, this is the uh, the Spire is what we call it over at Ob1 Sabers um, LGTC017. Uh, very nice looking saber. If you want to head over to the website and the store, uh, we'll put in a nice little link right about here or so. Uh, you can click on that guy and hopefully go over there and get one of these guys yourself. Very nice saber. So if you're enjoying the videos, give us a like, a subscribe, bring that notification bell so you can see what's coming up next and come back for some more great sabers from Obi-Wan Sabers. This is Kevin signing off.